Hey, Hello, everyone. YouTube. Um, welcome to our channel, Sydney and Richard. I'm Richard. I'm Sydney, <laughs> and we are bringing you beer reviews. Um, so today's episode is great. If you've been watching our videos in March, um, we have been reviewing breweries that are having their two-year anniversary because we're having our two-year anniversary. Yeah. Um, and or actually, had our two-year anniversary. Yesterday was our two-year anniversary. <laughs> So, um, that's really exciting, um, yeah. that we've been together that long, and it's been good. Two more years. Two more years. After that, we're done. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have to, like, reapply. We have to break up, and then sure. find each other, and to have our first date again. Mm -hmm. and, it's a yeah. whole process. Yeah, it's like the president. After four years, you gotta... <laughs> Get reelected yeah. as a boyfriend or girlfriend. Exactly. <laughs> um... Happy two years to us, and then we're going to do a two-year anniversary beer, and then at the end, we have a great story. Which... Sydney has been really excited for the story. <laughs> I'm so excited about, um, we're going to tell you guys about the first time we told each other we love each other, and so I, I really can't wait. So let's yeah. do the beer part so then I can go on it and gush about this <laughs> awesome story. She just wants to get the review out it's, of the way. It's such a good story. Hang in there. Yeah. Um, it's so good. It's, it's a story. <laughs> <laughs> so our beer for today is kind of a cool one. Yeah. Um, it's different. It's different. So we've got... Um, okay, so there's a brewery in Seattle called... Um, what is it? Ghost Fish. <laughs> <laughs> which I just realized Ghost Fish has the initials of GF, which is the same as gluten-free. And they are a gluten-free beer company. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you're gluten-free, this beer totally applies to you. Yeah. Um, so they've been in Seattle two years. They had a one-year anniversary brew, and they have a two-year anniversary beer, and it's perfect for our two-year anniversary. Yeah, and it's aged in wood. Which I love. It's wood aged imperial brown ale. There's nothing not to love about that. Um, that's right up both our alleys. Um, and yeah, so Ghost Fish, you know, some places they say they have a gluten-free beer, but it's uh, made with barley and they like try and take the gluten out afterwards and that's not what ghost fish does they are 100 percent gluten free gluten isn't allowed in their facility so if you're celiacs no matter how sensitive you are you can still enjoy one of these yeah um we went there kind of early when we started dating like yeah. maybe our first summer together yeah, that um right. and we went and was their food all gluten free too yeah they don't make food but they have like gluten-free pizzas and stuff that you can order. Yeah. So, and I remember we thought the beer, we got a flight, and we thought it was, like, pretty decent. So yeah. that was probably a year into it. So now we're trying their two-year anniversary brew. Yeah. So uh, we've grown. Our relationship has grown. Ghost Fish has grown. It'll be interesting to see how that all Blends dovetails. And mixes. Yeah. <laughs> so they mostly use a grain called sorghum, which is, of course, gluten-free. Um, it's used a lot in beer in Africa. Um, I don't know if they actually use any of that African knowledge to make their beer or if they just kind of develop their own recipes. But, I mean, it's definitely, a, it's a grain with beer history. It's not like they just pulled something out of the air. Mm. Cool. So it should be, should be good. I'm so excited. Uh, this is the one I've been the most excited for. Yeah. And the Imperial just means extra strong. Um, yes. we talked about that a little bit on Old Rasputin when, uh, they had a Russian Imperial Stout. Mm -hmm. Let's try it. I've been, like, waiting for, like, way too long. Yeah. Um, so, also, uh, just for the record, I always like to know this, um, but the alcohol by volume is 8%, so this is gonna be a strong beer, which, are gluten-free beers usually strong? Um. Uh, Aren't they kind of weak? Well, I feel like... Gluten-free beers are usually trying to hit middle of the road, which is okay. like 5 or 6%, but as far as I know, I, I haven't done much research into gluten-free beers. I don't think there's any reason it couldn't be exactly the same as barley. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful Ooh. color. It's definitely brown. It's almost a little reddish, actually. Kind of, yeah. Uh, I always think for darker beer, or like for higher alcohol content, it'd be like a lot darker, but it's not that dark. Yeah. Color and um, alcohol content. 
just don't have anything to do with I each totally other. I totally thought they did. It smells sweet. Yeah. Not a lot of um, hop mm -mm. on the nose. Are you getting any wood? I'm not really picking up wood. Not particularly. Um, maybe that'll come out more in the taste. Yeah. Okay. Shall we taste? Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. good. That's really good. I feel like you wouldn't know this was gluten free. Oh, not at all. No, this is just a beer. That's really That's good. really impressive. I feel like the first time we went, there was like a little bit of something missing. Yeah. We couldn't really define what, but like something in, I'd say the mid palate just wasn't quite there. And this one, they've they've obviously refined their process and developed their recipes because this is excellent. I do feel like this is different than yeah. when we tried it over a year ago. This it, is definitely more refined, like more developed. More of a beer. Because the last time, yeah, it was like something's different. It's fine, but it's whatever. But this is good. I promise you, you could give this to your friends. Just don't tell them it's gluten-free. They would never even guess. No. no. It tastes like beer. Totally. And it's easy to drink. Mm hmm It is a little bit lighter on the palate. Yeah. But um, I don't know if that's because it's gluten-free or if that's just what they were going for. It's good, though. It is light on the palate. It's very syrupy left on my tongue. The aftertaste, mm -hmm. do you get like a syrupy feeling on your tongue? Um, yeah, it is a little bit thicker. It has a syrupy mouthfeel. Um, but that's not bad. It, uh, just makes it feel like a, a richer beer, I think. Yeah. I, I totally agree with that. Um, this is enjoyable. I mean, when I first drank it, I kind of thought it tasted a little astringent hmm. feeling. Um. Interesting. I didn't get that. But now as I'm drinking it more, it tastes totally fine. It doesn't taste like 8%. Mm -mm. So... Watch out if you get this. It's a little bit sweet. Um, has some good body to it. Um, kind of raisiny. Yeah, it is. It's good. I think it's pretty good. I'm yeah. really impressed that this is a gluten-free, like 100% gluten-free beer. So if you are in the area, yeah, um, and you're gluten-free especially. Head to Soto. Yeah. Um, they had a nice little setup in there. It was really... Oh, it's a great building. Great tap yeah. room. Mm -hmm. For sure. Uh, you can see it's not very carbonated. I mean, the no. bubbles died pretty quickly. There's not much head retention. Um, it doesn't feel very carbonated in the mouth. It feels very, like, rich and thick in a good way. Yeah. Um, this is dangerous because I feel like I'm just gulping it mm. down. Um, yeah. What do you... What would you rate on a scale of one to five? Um, on... A normal beer scale, I would give this a 3.5. On a gluten-free beer scale, I would give this a 5. <laughs> On a normal beer scale, I would give it a 4. Oh, alright. I really like it. Cheers to ghost fish. Gluten-free, it's <laughs> completely exceeded all of my expectations. Like, it's oh, like a 10. Because sure. like, I feel like I've tried other gluten-free things, Yeah, I'm not. My brother was drinking gluten-free beers for a while, so I tried a couple, and um, this is definitely by far the best gluten-free beer. I need some had. more. <laughs> yeah. Oh, where, where's my bottle? I need some more of this. This is hella good. <laughs> um, it's good. It's really good. It's Regardless really... if you're gluten-free or not, try it. I mean, I promise you at least enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Um... So yeah, we are super impressed with this. Um, good job, Ghost Fish. Um, that's super awesome. Good, yeah. good work. I'm excited to try your third year, um, oh, third anniversary. For sure. So yeah, see you next year. See you next year, same time, same place. See you uh, 52 pours from now. <laughs> yeah, so true.